Hey guys, it's Anthony, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the difference between an unprofitable trader and a profitable trader and how to go from unprofitable to profitable. We're going to dive into all of the characteristics and the habits that the un unprofitable trader has and then all of the habits and the characteristics that pr the profitable trader has. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. I trade ES and NASDAQ futures. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. I've been trading for four years now. And if you want to learn how to become a profitable trader, just hit that subscribe button below and let's dive into the video. When we're looking at the unprofitable trader, the biggest thing is they have no edge. And this means that they think price is going to go in a specific direction, but they don't have any data confirming uh, or rules and guidelines of when and when not to take the trade. That is a prime example of an unprofitable trader. If you are trading right now and you do not have the stats on your win rate, your risk or reward ratio, the time of day that you need to take the setup and the times of day you need to stay away, the time frames you need to look at and the symbols you're going to trade, if you can't have all of the, that data, you do not have a profitable edge and it's not mapped out yet. So with that being said, that means we just need to avoid risking real money or hard earned capital trading until we have that answered. So once that's, that's answered, we can move on to the, the second thing. And the second thing an unprofitable trader does not have is a trading plan. And the trading plan is a full list of everything they need to follow you know, during the day, before the, the market, all of these things that they need to stick to. And if you don't have a trading plan yet, or you don't know what a trading plan is yet, uh, just click on my channel. I have videos on how to create a trading plan. But let's move on to the third thing. The third thing is the discipline. And I honestly believe that the discipline doesn't come until you have the profitable trading edge and you have the trading plan. Because I know it's, it took me a long time to, let's say, have discipline, but it's mainly because I didn't have a profitable strategy. And what I mean by discipline is, you know, just doing what you said you would do in the market all the time. But the problem is, if you don't have a defined trading edge, it, you can't be disciplined because you are not sure that of what you need to be doing, right? If you don't have this edge mapped out and you don't have this trading plan mapped out, there's nothing to be disciplined to. So you're taking a trade because something looks good and then you're taking a different trade because it also looks good. But you know, they were two different trades, but you don't know that yet because you don't have a defined edge. So those three things are huge. Um, the fourth thing that an unprofitable trader does is they overtrade. So you'll see uh, profitable traders, you know, the ones that really make a living of this, they take you know one trade a day, two trades a day, you know, five trades a week, two trades a week, not five trades in one in one morning, uh, not even like four entries in one morning, not even that much, right? You know, I, I was doing this for a long time. Like I would have end up having let's say five entries in a morning because I had you know, multiple strategies on multiple symbols. So then, this, you know, if you have like two or three strategies and you're trading like two or three different symbols uh, and you're trading on a lower time frame, like three minute or five minute, then you can definitely have like four or five setups in a day. The last thing I think the unprofitable trader lacks is the chart time. And what I mean by this is they are not, they don't have that intuitiveness that you develop when you, when you spend, let's say a thousand hours looking at charts and this intuitiveness doesn't come until you've been trading for multiple, multiple years and you've been spent you know, ten, more like 10,000 hours of chart time. And you know, if you're unprofitable right now, you don't have any of that intuitiveness. So you really do need to rely on just look at and follow your trading plan. And those, those are the things that the unprofitable trader lacks. I mean, you can get all these things with effort, energy, time, and, and discipline. And if you have all these things, you can build out the profitable trading plan. You can build out the profitable edge through a thousand hours or 2000 hours of back testing. You can build out all these things and then you can improve your discipline to follow that edge and follow that trading plan if you're an unprofitable trader right now. And then over time, in two, three years later, you'll get that intuitiveness by looking at the charts and seeing what's about to unfold because you've seen these things happen so many times in live trading. Now the profitable trader, the profitable trader sticks to trading one, or two symbols, right? Now, I'm not, this is not to say that they don't trade anything because there's plenty of traders who trade anything, but really the best traders who make the most, they'll stick to one or two things, right? If they're, if they're a futures trader, they'll just trade ES or they'll just trade NASDAQ or they'll just trade those two, right? If they're a Forex, they just trade Euro USD or they just trade gold, right? 
you'll see the best traders have usually two, two that they can trade or take trades on. So what I recommend if you're unprofitable right now, just focus on one or two instruments and spend all of your time on the charts on those one or two instruments because again, that's how you develop the intuitiveness faster. That's So that's the first thing the profitable trader does. And the reason why they do that is because like I said, you build that intuitiveness, you can then just take action and you're much better at you know holding trades or you're much more confident. You have this different layer of confidence because you've seen how it moves and you see how it moves with other assets and you can have more confidence in holding for longer TPs or getting out sooner because you've seen uh, something that a shift happened that you know maybe you shouldn't be in the trade anymore. Now, the second thing that the profit or trader has is a defined trading plan the fine trading plan. What this means is, what am I going to trade? When are the hours I'm allowed to trade? What are the time frames I'm going to look at? Or what's the time frame I'm going to be taking my entry on? Is it the three minute? Is it the five minute? Are my entries going to be on mid candle or is it going to be on candle close? Um, what's my stop loss going to be on average? Or what's my you know, largest stop loss allowed to be on the trade? What's my average take profit supposed to be? Um, what's my win rate of my strategy? What's my risk reward ratio of my strategy? What's the minimum R I must have to enter a trade? I'm allowed to take max two entries per day. I must stop trading after two losses. I must stop after one win. I must meditate before the market opens. I must mark out all of my levels by 9.15 Eastern, which is 15 minutes before the market opens. I must take a cold shower before the market opens. I must read out loud my trading plan before the market opens. This is what a trading plan can entail. There's more, obviously more things that you can include in there or less. You can take away some, add some, but this is the whole thing that all profitable traders have. They have a trading plan. They read it every single day. They know their trading plan back, you know, on the back, the back of their hand. And because of that, they follow it. And it's easier to say disciplined because it's written out. It's all laid out in front of them. So all they need to do now is execute. Why? Because they've proven to themselves with their 10,000 hours of backtesting, they've proven to themselves with their 10,000 hours of backtesting plus the 1,000 hours of putting into real practice, they've gained the confidence in their edge because of all of those hours and they formulated it into a trading plan. So that way now to be disciplined, which is what they have as well, they're disciplined. They are disciplined because they have the raw, hard, cold facts of data saying that this is my expected profit if I just stay disciplined and execute this plan as it is written. written, And that's the point of the trading plan. It's to have the edge, have the data, put it into sentences, put it into bullet points. So that way your jo only job is to follow the trading plan. And the better you follow the trading plan, if you follow it perfectly all the time, then you're going to be consistently profitable. The next thing the profitable trader has is control over their own emotions. And this one is huge. They're able to control their own emotions. They don't get emotional when they're in drawdown. They don't get excited when they're about to hit TP. They are emotionally level. Nothing excites, nothing excites them, nothing will make them sad. And that's how all profit traders need to be. You, you have to be desensitized to the emotions of the fluctuations in the PL, even as size gets bigger. And this is a thing that takes time, but this is what all profit traders have. And that's how they're able to scale to huge numbers because those those numbers don't bother them. And it's because they've disciplined themselves and they've really worked on controlling their own emotions. So that way it doesn't bother them and they're able to hold for their TP and follow their trading plan as they're supposed to. That's going to conclude this video on the comparison of the unprofitable trader to the profitable trader. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciated it. Subscribe for more videos just like this and look up for my next video coming out Sunday on a profitable trading strategy that I use. So this is how you can get that edge to become profitable if you're not there yet. Look out for that next video coming out Sunday. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.